<clears throat> Hello, welcome to this video. Thank you so much for tuning in and sharing in this now moment with myself and with one another. If you haven't seen these videos before, welcome. Welcome back if you have. My intention is unity and oneness and the highest levels of love light. I'm just gonna go into a little light language and a little energy share. Um, we're still in the energies of the uh, cycle of the, of the full moon, we could call it, or whatever sun sign we're in. Um, whatever, um, there's a lot of really great energies moving around. I feel a lot of great energy moving around through me, so I'd like to share that. I've been a little under the weather and I'm still kind of staying in, in my little cave today to kind of allow my body to recover from some traveling that I've done recently. And I just wanted to share from my perspective, oftentimes we can get sick or feel under the weather. And a few of us, myself included, can get into that point where we go, what's wrong with me? What did I do wrong? You know, I shouldn't be sick. I have all this, these things to do. And in reality, sometimes it's just an opportunity for us to integrate the up upgrades, <laughs> right, that we're receiving. And sometimes our body just has to shut down and rewire in order to, to do that. So I look at some of this uh, as, I, you know, usually I'm only sick about once a year. And uh, I just take it as an opportunity to kind of reset. And a lot of the energies that I've been very scattered in lately, it gives me an opportunity to then reorganize them, so to speak. And when I say that, um, it's reorganize the organs. It allows me to hear the organ, the piano from within, and it allows me to set the keys in a different tone that allows me to tune in to what the new tones are and to clear out some of the old tunes that I've been replaying over and over again in my system. So it's basically going through a tune-up from my perspective. Um, and I wanted to share that because I know sometimes it can be frustrating if we feel we are unable to work or we have to take a break or we're not able to help somebody because we have to take the time to help ourselves. But that is the key in order to continue for us to be um, the conduits, right? The clear conduits. It clears out the lines, so to speak. So I might not be able to hit any of the high notes today. <laughs> not that I ever really hit the high notes. I guess I do in my own way. So um, I'm just going to go into a little flow and see what comes through. This is not meant to be necessarily understood on a linear basis. Some of this is just meant to be felt. Kuwa Ua ene ti ishte kua ene ti amo kua na nea aia te ki aua hana. Ti arra ok unna te tea kura. Ti ki arra hak ura. Ti ni ishtra horra anna kura et ene her ak ura. Ni arra or ene het er ak ene her at ak era. Ti enara hak ura ene ti arra ar at ok ura. Ni arra hat er a heshtra ar ene kira et inira. Nur ene kiara at eara hana kore na ne kora. Nene ara ha kone te are te nara te aurora na he. Ne kiaro ho ne tira he te roena he rahina kera ua. Te nara ho re ne kiaro e anara he no koena. I awa hae ne a ko te amo e te e shtawa, ni ki awa o shte ti ki na ma kua hana. Ki at i awa o shte ki ne ne ki awa ane. Uuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuu
Niare ne kura he tira tura ne tiara mukura. Ti naro koya nare na wahane. I wasn't expecting to sing. Ku esta na kone, no koe ti stera hak ora. Ti ka ar hak ora, ene kia nare wa nare i na kwaina. Ti naro ka nero waena te wa. Nero he na o. Nero. Kwaest e kwa heit ik en het or en dara hak or te te nara kwa nara he. Kwa rana. Kwa wana we wa e no. No u yo e o no. Kia o no u. Many of us are anchoring in the starahok ora in the tekiara hat ara te titi in the rahok ora i starahak ora ne in the kira hana kora nana hete kenare na anchoring into a higher wattage, if you will, the wattage, the stekara at etikira. What age is this? Tana kora ana the golden age the haara. Wahak ena te ashta kanear, kur ena te ishtar, kur ena te ishtarahar anukur, dir hayat ar ur nahar at et era. Kwa nehi na wana o, ki ishtanaro e te o ena o. Wish te araha te ne kia na te kia oa haiana, kia ne ti ne oa ha te te shtara kura. Ma kura he ne te ra, i es te shtara ha rotu rotu ro no re na he na ro. Te ara waan. And we sing blessings to the land, and we sing blessings into the space so that it may land. Within the home base frequency of the heart. Moving through the spirals of the ears, spiraling down into the deeper chalice of the heart. At, at era hat ara. Allowing, we let go of the challenge of receiving. Dara hat eshtara hok ur. Nanitir ak ur in the titir ak ur. Tishtana hak ur hit in the kira at eshtara hak ur. For being receptive to and receiving and opening to receive all of the codes that are spiraling and spinning within the fabric that we weave, the essence that we are weaving in, that which it is we are already accessing, can be challenging for many. And for those that feel the glass is half Empty, we allow you to tur and arhek or and at ishtarak ora, allow the flow to move up the spine, to move up the spiral, to move the spirals to move down into the chakra system, into the chalice, into the cup that holds all things, so to speak. The cup that runneth over, the cup that groweth wings, tashtara and the tikira. Kur andata stishtere hak era, tindara hak ur and etestestra o kur antera newa tera. Kunet ishtak urahana. Shtara makure te newa. 
And as we receive, as we see, as we see, as we see, as we see, Koeshta makeawa tekinek iwahana. Kishte moe te koene tiashta o koene tea. We seem together, we weave together, te koana te awakane. We ignite that which it is that is meant to take flight. We recognize the patterns that are within our frequencies of delight. We recognize those patterns which ignite our heart sensory abilities, our ability to scan, our ability to scan our surroundings, our ability to see through that which it is that we are surrounded within, that we are shrouded within, that we are in the crowd of, we allow ourselves to feel the crown energy pouring through as we experience the roar, if you will, the rushing of the blood as it sings through our veins, as it clears out the waves of vanity, if you will, as it clears through the wavelengths, elongating our shakti, if you will. Mm, this is all a play on words, by the way, I'm playing with this a little bit. I'm seeing like a hut, our home base, our shakti, but I'm also seeing the T as in the cross, and I'm hearing the solar cross. And I'm hearing the chakra root system. So I put my root down, I put my root down. I never get those looks right. So we're rooting in this energy through the crown. We're igniting this cross beam is what I'm hearing. Cross beam delight of frequencies. And we allow this to ignite and flow through our bloodstream. This is the fire in the blood. This is the song that sings through the senses, that that moves through and clears the density. It breaks through the cracks in the crowd, if you will. I'm hearing crowded house. <laughs> I've had this come up. Uh, what is that? Don't dream it's over. Crowded house. When the world within they kuwehe ne awe ti kune te stau kine wan. Wohet e akwana. As we align our extrasensory, our scope of intelligence moves through and out of boundaries that we had perceived before as our limitations, yet we now perceive more. Na we ku ne awahena. And as we allow ourselves to soar, to expand our wings, to soar, we explore and find more. We break through the floor, if you will. We break half through the glass half full and we meet in the middle and those layers of densities, if you will. We cross at this access point. We cross at this access. We access the deeper levels of love, of light, below and within and above. We ignite new flight patterns, if you will. And as we expand these senses and we deepen our capacity for uh, compassion, 
as the composers of our orchestra, of our destiny, if you will, of our density, if you will, the composers of our density, 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 density. <laughs> We break out of hibernation. We weave our bandwidths through this hibernation. We weave our bandwidths through this deeper revelation in this time of revelation. In this deeper realization, we acknowledge all that has been stored within and deep within tur antahar ak ur estak ar un tishtara hak ur tik ar at inikiri hitishtari hik ur tet ek era for we are tishtawa kwai neti kini tiki kiko wan neti estara hak ur I'm seeing seeds that have grown and we're breaking through these cracks and we've, we've like just expanded out through um, the gaps, if you will. And we're literally creating a wedge so that we can see the vastness of all that we are. And so that we can play in the vastness of all that we are. <laughs> And in doing this, we obliterate, we integrate. <laughs> I'm seeing a play on words with obliterate, I'm seeing oblivion. We live in a new way to oblige by the new framework that we are uh, creating to the new language that is alive. That we are communicating through this network, through this body, this um, inner um, <laughs> computational reservoir that we are in the process of computing, if you will that we are in the process of organizing, that we are in the process of sharing and spreading the word. <laughs> I'm hearing bird, 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 bird is the word. And this keeps me, brings me back to spreading the wings, right? Um, fly like an eagle, right? Um, allow ourselves to ignite those heart bands, those heart frequencies, the heart wings, the feathers of our DNA, the cords of our heart, our heart cords, we're plucking them. We're plucking them so we can fly. I'm going back to oblivion because I'm hearing OB um, and I'm hearing out of body experience and I'm also seeing um, to live in I on, obliv I on, and essentially we're going back to this origination, if you will, the original, yet hybridization of a framework of a beautiful meld of an old, I'm hearing the heartbeat of the womb of the mother, and all of our new mm, creations interacting with this and we're remembering ba boom 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 hearing this drum this pattern do stere hak u stene ki wa hayen no e na wa ki na wa ne wa na o and we may feel the desire to dance, for this is a tribal reunion, if you will. This is an ability to dance into this new framework. To get, I'm hearing, um, Lucy Goosey, Dushtekuen. <sighs> I'm hearing, <laughs> you're my boy, Blue, <laughs> but I'm also hearing Goose, what is it, Goose <laughs> from Maverick? Top Gun, Deshtekua in them. 
Nevayateshtana. For there is no longer a need to run from who we are, and there is no longer a need to fight uh, who we are. We meet in the middle. De amakua neteshtana. Ash te kua waha na te kidni ni kua nehet e waha neti amahat e kidni. And we blend, we merge with that of our ancestors, we merge with that of the mother, we merge with that of the father, we merge as the inner child reborn again within this blend of energies and frequency, merging the old with the new. We merge and then we re-emerge and then we re-emerge and merge back together again for we are the glue that holds together the framework that is creating the new framework that we are already existing within. For as we blend these beautiful colors, frequencies, harmonics, shapes, mathematical compositions of energy entanglements and light quotients, we come together and we begin a new journey. We begin a new journey as we allow that which was to disintegrate into OB, 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 oblivion, durat et ishtak ora, to live on within us as the nutrients in which we are mm, entangled with. I'm seeing this reference to the placenta, not to be confused with. Um, the true placenta, I'm seeing how we've basically were digesting some of the old pieces of the old system so that it can be, um, when I hear OB, I am hearing OBGYN, right? And I'm hearing out of body experience, what is out of, I can't think of the acronym for that. Um, anyways, but what I'm seeing is this combination and we're kind of combining all of this into our framework, into our suit of technology. And this allows us to create this vast space of melding of a plasmatic. I'm hearing barrier breaker, breaker. I'm hearing code breaker, but I'm also hearing freedom code creators. I'm hearing um, this, it's just this morphosis, metamorphosis of all of this. And many are remembering their existences pre birth in this lifetime, now, and they are combining those and they are obliterating. This is a play on words, this is not literal. <laughs> what is literal? <laughs> I'm hearing. <laughs> um, <clears throat> excuse me, I have to cough. Um, what I'm hearing is, that's a play on words, obliterating the literal. Nothing is literal. <laughs> it shouldn't be taken literally, although that's a play on words as well, because obviously some things like don't run in front of that car should be taken literally. But what I'm seeing is that there's a lot of energy that was taken literally, and it's like that's being obliterated, obliterated, obliteral, <laughs> obliterated. But this is also a play on words too, because that which wasn't real is being lit up. And oh, I'm gonna have to, to write this down and play with this. I'm seeing obliterated, fabricated. We're obliterating that which was fabricated, taken literally when it was not when it was created to be, um, where, say, where I'm seeing that some of it's being lit up um, and exasperated so that it can be, I keep hearing blown to oblivion, oblivion. <laughs> I'm being shown too that people were taking things literally and then they were rating it like, oh, that's, a, that's an A, B, C, or G. And it's got to be too much. And we're just like, nope, let's get back to the basics, which is the heartbeat, which is <clears throat> coming together, which is weaving together through a playfulness, this, this playfulness, this inner child. <sighs> and so we end on this note, so to speak. Yet there are many notes that are held within this fabric of this particular sharing, of this particular interaction. 
There are many notes that are held within this vocabulary. There are many notes that are held within this existential connection through this fabric that we are all connected int intimately with, intricately with. For this is something that ties us all together. And as we loosen those ties that no longer hold us down anymore into mm, the bowels of history, so to speak. <laughs> oh, I'm seeing that this is coming up again. This is all coming up. It's coming up. So let it come up and be eradicated. That's also a play on words. <laughs> Once and for all, this is a play on words. So I'll have to go back and write this down. But I can play with once and for all. Um, I'm hearing eradicating the dictation, the dictatorship, eradicating that which was radicalized um, because that radical um, I'm hearing a surfer rides a wave and calls it radical. Um, and that's a different kind of radical than what's being shared. And the things have been turned. And because of the radical malnourishment is what I'm hearing, there has to be a radical adjustment. But that adjustment has already um, ratified. Oh boy, this is a big play on words. I'm gonna have to write this down. But essentially I'm hearing um, bringing us back into oneness. So we're remembering and we're like, okay, let's bring it into this space. <clears throat> we are all sharing codes. We are all sharing in this soup. We are all sharing in this process, if you will. And as we allow ourselves to sit with this, as these energies may feel like they are intensifying, we in are being invited to allow ourselves to integrate and process all that is already within us. For much has been bestowed. I'm seeing um, stowed away, like a stowaway on a ship. And I'm also seeing bestowed and gifted upon us. And so there are many of us who have yet to unpackage this. Hmm. Kind of like what I was saying earlier, I've been traveling and I haven't quite unpackaged yet um, what I experienced. And so um, there's what I'm being shown is there's a lot of people who have received a lot of information, whether it be about themselves about a particular situation that they're in. And I'll do a separate video on this, I think, if I remember. But we are being invited to process that which it is that we are feeling currently, that we are remembering and that we are experiencing and doing this in the most compassionate way and careful. Let us switch that framework a bit, full of care for ourselves and for those that are processing as well. For as we bring this up from the bowels and the depths of our very essence and we preserve that which is meant to be utilized for nutrients, I'm hearing nutri essence, nutrients, neutrinos, nutrition, we arise from the ashes, so to speak, and we, I'm hearing that sulfur dioxide is um, useful even after like a volcanic, like the ash. And we realize that which it is that we are already, I'm hearing becoming, have become, and we become that which it is that we are seeking for we are already holding that within. And I'm just giving gratitude to Mother Earth right now. I'm sending out my waves of energy, of love, light, from my own essence, from source, up from the earth.
Taking a nice deep breath in and a long exhale. <clears throat> Just inviting these energies maybe to assist us in processing, integrating, expanding, feeling. And so it is. And so it is. Namaste.